the Welsh Government have drawn up proposals to create the first UK opt-out donor system. It would mean that everyone is considered to be a willing organ donor when they die, unless they have stated otherwise. But what's the reaction to the proposal within the Jewish community? The issue has sparked off a big debate amongst Jewish groups and other communities. Marcel Palmer from the Board of Deputies of British Jews and Rabbi Josh Levy from Aleph explained more about organ donation. What we have at the moment is an opt-in system, which is where if you want to uh, donate your organs, you opt in, you tick a box, you send off a form saying you want to register, your, do you want to donate your organs. With an opt-out system, the premise is the exact opposite. The original assumption is that you will donate your organs unless you specify otherwise. I think there are two different issues here that need to be separated. One is the whole question of opt-out, uh, and clearly an opt-out will increase the number of uh, organs available for donation, uh, which in the long term will save lives. But it does bring some issues with it. It, it raises issues around uh, the relationship of state and the individual. I don't think there's any doubt that, that moving towards an opt-out is challenging. It does change the nature of relationship between the individual and the state. Ultimately, the board is pro-organ donation. We would encourage people to donate the organs, but we would not advocate an opt-out system because we want there to be the flexibility for people to consult with rabbis on a case-by-case -case basis, for people to do what is comfortable for their level of religious practice. One major reason why opinion is divided is because of the issue of death and its definition. Part of what happens with organ donation is that um, we're kept alive in order that the, the organs are usable. Uh, so withdrawing organs um, does cause death if you don't believe in brainstem death. Um, and that creates a particular halachic uh, problem for those Jews who consider brainstem death not to be a legitimate definition of death. Uh, that's not my position. My position is very clearly that brainstem death is death and therefore the organ donation does not kill the donor. I can say that we as Jews should be donating our organs. I'd actually even go as far as to say that there is a religious obligation on us uh, coming out of the Jewish value of saving a life. The proposal also allows a person who was in a relationship with a deceased relative or friend to decide if they would have objected or consented to organ donation. There is the argument that this is not often practical. A spokesman for the Welsh Government said it would review the draft bill to explain the role of the family in light of the consultation responses. Those who are cautious of the new proposal also consider the issue of consent. This is the first place where we really see that a doctor would be taking consent out of the individual and out of the relative's hands and taking it into their own hands. And it could possibly lead the way for other, er other problems with consent with medical practice in the future not just in this area, but all across the medical world. The debate is set to continue and the Board of Deputies have communicated with the Welsh Government. The Welsh Government have recently held a consultation and the Board has responded in full to their consultation and will continue to do so um, as, this, as these matters arise. In a statement, a spokesman for the Welsh Government said it would continue to work with the faith communities in Wales and also confirmed that officials have met with Jewish groups. The policy is likely to be debated by Welsh Assembly members early next year. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.